to use it sometime later. I, I heard it myself and I said, wow, it's, it's, that's how it is. Very good. When we don't find that space of being, which means we are either waiting or going, we are creating the drama of life. If that's all we see, And we all find ourselves in that place of waiting or going and believing that the waiting is all there is or the going is all there is. We all find ourselves, we all find ourselves in that place. Because that's what is apparently obvious, that's what is at the surface of things. What is deeper is not so obvious. <coughs> it requires a mind that is more quiet. It requires a mind that can see more. This being is what is here all the time, what never goes. You know, I, I think most of you know, I just been in Buenos Aires, in Argentina, and there it was very hot, it was summer. And many people told me, as a joke, I saw you will bring some of the sun from Buenos Aires, and actually we have the opposite. And, uh, and what I thought is that, it's true, it would, it would have been very nice if I brought some of the sun from Buenos Aires. I obviously didn't. But actually, that's not really my role. What I see my role is to bring the inner sun. And the inner sun is that sense of being. I mean, it is, in a way, it is easier to be happy in a nice sunny day. But when, the funny thing is that when the nice sunny days come, we forget that we are there, and then the problems come back, and we don't realize anymore that there is a wonderful sunny spring day or whatever it is. But instead, we are again lost in our own thoughts, in our problems, in our difficulties. Because we shouldn't wait, really, we shouldn't wait for a nice sunny day to be happy. Because it's not going to be. When the sunny day comes, we are going to enjoy it for five minutes. We're going to look out, wow, nice sunny day. Five minutes later, we forget about it. We take it for granted, and we come back to our own inner, inner turbulence. It's like Right now, most of us, I think, are pretty healthy. But we are not happy because we are healthy. We take it for granted. But if we are sick, we will think, oh, when I am healthy, I will be, feel good again. But right now, we are healthy, we, but we forget about that. So, 
where I bring, where I hope I bring, or where I, what my aim is to bring, is actually the inner sun. But the inner sun is not nothing that I have, it's something that we all have. Exactly the same amount, exactly the same. We share the same inner sun. There is only one inner sun. It's not my inner sun or your inner sun. There is one inner sun, just like there is one outer sun. There is one inner sun, and that inner sun, we share it all, which is our own presence, our own sense of being in this moment. The part that is not neither waiting nor, nor going. There is a part that is waiting, waiting for the class, waiting for um, the next relationship, waiting for the kids to grow up, waiting, waiting to have kids, waiting to have more money, waiting to finish the career, waiting to the hair to grow, waiting for the... whatever it is. We are waiting always for something. Or going, some, or going somewhere. <coughs> going to the next appointment, going to the next date, going to the next job, going to... There is a part that is always waiting or going, continuously, continuously. But at the very root of that waiting and of that going, at the very root, from where the waiting and the going emerge, There is a, this sense of being, this sense of presence, our inner sun, the sense of peace that is there all the time, just waiting to be discovered, waiting to be rediscovered, waiting to be noticed. It never goes, it never ever goes. It doesn't have a place to go because it's everywhere. It's like space. Where is space going to go? Space cannot go anywhere. It is here. This presence is here all the time. It's like space. Some, many times they use the, the, sim, the similitude of space to refer to presence, to awareness. Because it's everywhere. But we are lost, we don't see the space. Because it is invisible, apparently invisible. It's everywhere, but we don't really see the space. We see the walls, we see the people, we see the objects, but we don't see the space where the walls are, where the, the people are, where the... And we don't see the presence, instead we see the waiting or the going. The waiting or the going is like activity, like action. And so we see the action. The action is easy to see. But the space where the action occurs, where, where the action happens, is, is not so obvious. It's there all the time. It's right here and now, but it's not so obvious. And so we miss it. That space is what can be called the inner sun. Put your mat here if you want. It's like the 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 waiting or the going is like the practicalities of life, the, the things that we have to do. And yes, we have to do them, we, they will always be there. But we shouldn't lose sight or we should start to see, to notice 
this other aspect, this other space. And to make it part of our everyday life, to make it part of our moment, to make it part of this moment. But it's true because it's so easy to lose, many times it has to be pointed out. It has somebody or something has to show it to you. That's, it's, very, it's, it's rare for somebody to find it on its own. That's, that's how it is. Theoretically, everybody should find it, but practically, rarely happens. Somebody has to point it out to you. To remind you. And one way to lose it in this moment is when we get lost in our thoughts, get lost in our problems, get lost in the past and the future, which are the practicalities of life, which is the waiting or the going. It's not a problem that we think. The problem is that we are thinking all the time, and we are so busy thinking that we don't have a space to recognize that presence. And instead, we get bored. When we find this space, really, we get bored. We feel like impatient, something needs to happen, I need something. And so we go to the phone, we check Facebook, we check email, we make a phone call, we send a message to cover that space. We start to talk if somebody's, if somebody's there. We start to imagine the future, we start to regret the past. All these things are tricks that the mind does in order to escape from that sense of fear or, 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 or being scared of this sense of openness. But that presence is the openness, is the, the, the space, is the infinite space open to us. Which is true, in the beginning it may, it may feel, from the point of view of the, the little person, from the point of view of the little mind that is accustomed to be always busy, from that point of view, that space seems to be scary, seems to be a bit like too big, too quiet, too peaceful, too open, too empty. And so unless we know that that space is really something very fundamental for our life, we escape from it. We escape from it. That's what we, we, people are doing all the time, escaping, getting away from that space. And the truth is that a lot of our relationships, a lot of them, are just way to escape that space are the fear of loneliness. Maybe there is a little bit of love, maybe there is a little bit of attraction, but there is a lot of fear of being alone, a lot of fear of that space. And so we grasp somebody or something just to not feel that emptiness. But what I tell you here is, go for that emptiness, experience that emptiness, feel, stay there. Don't run away from it, quite the opposite, look for it. It's not emptiness at all, it's fullness, it's the fullness of our being. It's the sun, it's the inner sun, it's the true sun. That's what I call presence. It has many names. In religious language, you can even call it God. But the idea of God, sorry, maybe I shouldn't even bring it, but the idea of God is something completely different, what we think. But we 
can just call it presence. And that presence is what we do here. As we do in the class, the gym, and if you, if you start to find the value for it, it's what at home you will do other things. You will brush your teeth, or you will work in the computer, or you will be talking to your friends or to your family. But what you should be doing is neither brushing your teeth, nor talking, nor playing the computer, but you should be doing presence. If you understand, and it may take a while to understand, but that's what we do. We do presence. We are continually connected to this sense of being, to this huge space of openness, to this inner peace, in the midst of the practicalities of life. And the gym, what we will do now, is one aspect of these practicalities. Brushing your teeth is another one. And the whole of life is another one. What, what supports what allows the whole of life to manifest is this ground of being, which is our presence right here and now. Most of you have an idea of what I'm talking about because you've been here before. But if you new people, if you are completely bored and you have no idea what I'm talking about, then you know this class is not for you. And it's fine, it's not a problem. It's not easy to, you have to understand already what I'm saying in order to understand what I'm saying. You have to have a feeling of what I'm saying already in order to follow what I'm saying. So we will start doing now the gym. That's what I call the practicalities of life. But don't do gym, or do the gym, but find the ground, find the essence, find what allows the gym to happen, which is this, this space of being, this inner sun, this sense of presence, this aliveness, this awareness, 